Five months after reopening, the state has issued another mandate for gyms to close for at least the next four weeks to help limit the spread of COVID-19. I went to the Plymouth Lifetime to get people's thoughts on the decision. The holiday season is generally when people try to get in the gym to burn off those excess calories. But come November 21st, the state says people will have to find other ways to get in their workouts. This time we're promised four weeks, I don't know, and so we're setting up, we're planning for the worst. It's news that wasn't exactly met with widespread praise. I and many of the people that I know don't agree with it. I think it's pretty sad. I mean... Places like this have done everything right to, to keep safety in order. When Lifetime reopened its Minnesota clubs back in June, they put in a number of safety protocols to help keep its members safe from COVID-19. That includes things like cleaning stations scattered throughout the clubs and temperature checks for people who walk in the door. Lifetime officials say that their investments in safety have worked. 21 and a half million visits since we opened reopened the first club in Oklahoma City. We've had about 900 uh, cases. It's 0.004%. State health data links gyms to 48 outbreaks and 747 infections, but more so in the summer and early fall. The company's CEO said in a news conference this week that Minnesota case numbers attributed to Lifetime are even lower, so he feels as if gyms are being unfairly targeted. We are not in a position to pay everybody and pay taxes and pay rent and pay you know, uh, mortgage payments and, and have no revenue. It is not just us, it's everybody else. This is not a good approach. Rather than closing, Lifetime has offered to go down to 10% capacity and make masks mandatory. At the moment, masks are exempt for people while they're in the process of exercising. I appreciate our governor who is trying really hard right now. I just think there is a better way, there is a better approach. In the meantime, cases, hospitalizations, and deaths related to COVID-19 continue at unprecedented levels. Lifetime hopes the state reverses course. But if the shutdown does indeed last through December 18th, or beyond, personal trainers have a word of advice. I think having a healthy support system around you and or somebody that can help hold you accountable throughout that time is absolutely crucial because we're all in it together. In Plymouth, Delaine Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.